All right. Um, today, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to colorize a black and white photograph. And we'll start off with something fairly easy, and then hopefully we'll get to a more complex photo um, as we go through this lesson. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Photoshop, and we're going to give you step-by-step uh, -step, uh, instructions here. So I'm going to find my file, and we'll open that up. And we're going to look for uh, the eggs PSD file. And now, as you can see here, we've already got things set up a little bit um, for you, but we do want to keep our layers on. And um, I'm going to move that over here, and so that we can uh, see what we're working on. <clears throat> now, when we're working on this this image, uh, what we want to be most concerned with is uh, our magnetic lasso and lassoing these eggs in a way that uh, keeps them separate from each other. So with the magnetic lasso tool you're going to want to make sure that um, that you just take your time and that you don't get two white areas uh, against each other and have the uh, magnetic lasso snapping to the wrong uh, position. The other thing that we want to do is we want to create a new layer for each color that we create. Now I'm not going to color the whole egg here for you, all these eggs, but I am going to show you how to get started. Now I'm going to leave one layer uh, right here alone, so we're not going to, uh, to mess with this layer anymore. I'm going to lock it so we can't mess with this layer. However, I am going to add a layer, and this is a blank layer on top of this layer because I don't want to put anything on here. So I'm just going to go ahead and start to lasso this. So I'm going to start down here. Uh, right where I've got the most contrast between the white and the black area of the photograph and I'm just gonna lasso this egg and hopefully uh, it'll pick up enough of that egg and if it doesn't as you can see I just went back and I selected there and hopefully with the feather that we've we've got here the feather will be enough to help keep this um, egg from losing its shape and right now it is losing its shape a little bit as you can see it's jumping around there so let's delete what we've got there and move back and maybe we're just gonna have to hand set a couple of these in here so that it doesn't jump around too much on us and then we can always come back in if we needed to later and we can uh, erase any bad areas that didn't uh, really get get lasted properly Okay, and now I'm going to come off here into this dark area, and I don't really care where it goes after this, except right down here to the bottom. And I'm just going to lasso in this shape, and that's all I want. I'm going to lasso off that last egg. Now I've got to decide uh, what color is going to go in this egg, and so I'm going to uh, choose some colors here uh, to paint in here, and I'm going to use my uh, paint bucket to fill them in. And now I'm going to take this opacity and I'm going to take this opacity down. Okay. And that's how we do it. And now I'm going to go ahead and lasso another egg. And just to give you an idea of what I'm going to do here, we'll start here and come around this egg. Now I'm going a lot faster than I should here. Okay. And so I'm not going to um, continue on uh, with all of these eggs. But what I am going to do is just do a couple here so you can see how to progress and uh, continue on. And so now I'm going to go ahead and come back around this egg, down this side of the egg. And it's okay if they overlap slightly, but you don't really want them to overlap that much. Now, I did something wrong here. I did not add a new layer, but you know what? The nice thing about Photoshop is it's never too late to add another layer. So I'm going to go ahead, even though I lassoed, on this layer number two, I can still lasso, or excuse me, I can add a new layer, and now this lasso will go into effect on this new layer. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me get a darker green here. And I'm gonna fill in with my paint bucket here on this new layer. And as you can see, it did fill in on the new layer. And let's change the opacity here. Get a nice soft pastel green here. I might even go back to this layer here and uh, take this opacity down quite a bit 
like the softer colors better. And also, when you go with a softer color, you can see the other the egg coming through that color, and it gives you more of a uh, it gives you a much more of a uh, an egg color that has shape and volume because you can see the shadows. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to uh, go ahead and do the next uh, egg here. <clears throat> And I'm going to grab the lasso tool and I'm going to go ahead and lasso this egg that's right back here. And oops, I almost forgot to get my new layer. There we go. And let's just go ahead and get this new layer and see. Now, already I'm having just a little issue there, so I'm going to just go ahead and lasso off in this direction here. And we're going to come back around. And it's okay if it's not quite snapping perfectly here until I get right along to here. And we're going to do some fun stuff here after, oh, didn't want to snap correctly there, does it? So let's go ahead and stop there. And there we go. And we'll add another color. Now, notice my color jumped into the wrong, because I had the wrong layer selected, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and add a new color here. And do more of an orange. And let's go ahead and fill that in with our paint bucket. And we'll take the opacity and uh, take it down quite a bit so we can see through there. All right, so we're, we're getting there. And we're going to continue on like this as we, as we keep going. All right, now the last thing that I wanted to do is to have color over here um, taking up some area that I, that I don't want it to see. But uh, that's all right. We've got a, a little bit of a rough edge here. And I'm just going to clean that up a little bit so it's not quite as uh, noticeable. And by not being as noticeable, we're going to be able to uh, keep the viewer's eye from looking somewhere where something doesn't look as complete. So we're just going to take a much bigger brush and we're going to uh, rough up the edge here a little bit and uh, so that it will blend a little better into the background and make the diameter quite a bit larger than it should be. And there we go. And we're just going to, um, maybe that's a little bit too big. There we go. And we're just going to go into the correct layer here and erase softly into that layer. And you can see that it's not doing a whole lot at the moment. Um, I'm on the correct layer. Let's go ahead. Now that's because the opacity is also turned down here. So you can see here that it's erasing a little bit, but not enough. So let's go ahead and make sure that we're set completely okay on everything. And uh, this layer is fine. Oh, there we go. Opacity is set at 24. And so if we want to erase, there we go. Okay. And we've got our nice little fill there. Everything looks nice. And uh, we're going to unlock these things here. still locked and that's okay there we go now we can unlock them and now we can come in and hopefully do our erasing okay now what you would do here is continue on with these layers and uh, you will do another layer for every single color that you add here so as you add these layers uh, just keep adding a color. You can repeat colors. That's not a problem. Just go ahead and repeat layers. Don't worry if uh, you have a green twice or a red twice. You just don't want to have two reds against each other or two yellows bumping up against each other. You want to have some contrast. So make sure that these colors here and these eggs don't uh, get too close and bump into each other. And don't forget to name all of your layers and keep it simple. Okay. And if you have two layers of the same one, they get green number one and green number two and then green number three. All right. Good luck to you on this lesson. If you have any questions, please uh, email me or uh, see me in class. Good luck.